Song of Solomon, Chapter 3 All night long on my bed I looked for the one my heart loves. I looked for him but did not find him. I will get up now and go about the city. Through its streets and squares I will search for the one my heart loves. So I looked for him but I did not find him. The watchmen found me as they made their round in the city. Have you seen the one my heart loves? Scarcely had I passed them when I found the one my heart loves. I held him and would not let him go till I had brought him to my mother's house to the room of the one who conceived me. Daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you by the gazelles and by the does of the field, do not arouse or awaken love until it so desires. Who is this coming up from the wilderness like a column of smoke, perfumed with myrrh and incense made from all the spices of the merchant? Look, it is Solomon's carriage, escorted by sixty warriors, the noblest of Israel. All of them wearing the sword, all experienced in battle, each with a sword at his side, prepared for the terrors of the night. King Solomon made for himself the carriage. He made it of wood from Lebanon. Its posts he made of silver, its base of gold. Its seat was upholstered with purple. Its interior inlaid with love, daughters of Jerusalem. Come out and look, you daughters of Zion. Look on King Solomon wearing a crown, the crown with which his mother crowned him on the day of his wedding, the day his heart rejoiced. Song of Solomon, Chapter 4 How beautiful you are, my darling! Oh, how beautiful! Your eyes behind your veil are doves, your hair is like a flock of goats descending from the hills of Gilead. Your teeth are like a flock of sheep just shorn, coming up from the washing, each has its twin, none one of them is alone. Your lips are like a scarlet ribbon, your mouth is lovely, your temples behind your veil are like the halves of a pomegranate. Your neck is like the Tower of David built with courses of stone, on it hang a thousand shields, all of them shields of warriors. Your breasts are like two fawns, like twin fawns of a gazelle that browse among the lilies. Until the day breaks and the shadows flee, I will go to the mountain of myrrh and to the hill of incense. You are altogether beautiful, my darling. There is no flaw in you. Come with me from Lebanon, my bride. Come with me from Lebanon. Descend from the crest of Amana, from the top of Sener, the summit of Hermon, from the lion's deaths and the mountain dawns. You have stolen my heart, my sister, my bride. You have stolen my heart with one glance of your eyes, with one jewel of your necklace. How delightful is your love, my sister, my bride. How much more pleasing is your love than wine and the fragrance of your perfume more than any spice. Your lips drop sweetness as the honeycomb, my bride. Milk and honey are under your tongue. The fragrance of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon. You are a garden locked up, my sister, my bride. You are a spring enclosed, a sealed fountain. Your plants are an orchard of pomegranates with choice fruits with henna and nard. Nard and saffron, calamus and cinnamon, with every kind of incense tree, with myrrh and aloes and all the finest spices. You are a garden fountain, a well of flowing water streaming down from Lebanon. Awake, north wind, and come, south wind, blow on my garden that its fragrance may spread everywhere. Let my beloved come into his garden and taste its choice fruits. Song of Solomon, Chapter 5 I have come into my garden, my sister, my bride. I have gathered my myrrh and with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb and my honey. 
have drunk my wine and my milk, eat friends and drink, drink your fill of love. I slept, but my heart was awake. Listen, my beloved is knocking. Open to me, my sister, my darling, my dove, my flawless one. My head is drenched with dew, my hair with the dampness of the night. I have taken off my robe, must I put it on again? I have washed my feet, must I soil them again? My beloved thrust his hand through the latch opening. My heart began to pound for him. I rose to open for my beloved and my hands dripped with mirror. My fingers with flowing mirror on the handles of the bolt. I opened for my beloved, but my beloved had left. He was gone. My heart sank at his departure. I looked for him, but did not find him. I called him, but he did not answer. The watchmen found me as they made the rounds in the city. They beat me, they bruised me. They took away my cloak, those watchmen of the walls. Daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you, if you find my beloved, what will you tell him? Tell him I am faint with love. How is your beloved better than others, most beautiful of women? How is your beloved better than others than you so charge us? My beloved is radiant and ruddy, outstanding among ten thousand. His head is pure as gold, his hair is wavy and black as a raven. His eyes are like doves by the water streams, washed in milk, mounted like jewels. His cheeks are like beds of spice yielding perfume. His lips are like lilies dripping with myrrh. His arms are rods of gold set with topaz. His body is like polished ivory decorated with lapis lazuli. His legs are pillars of marble set on basis of pure gold. His appearance is like Lebanon, choice as its cedars. His mouth is sweetness itself. He is altogether lovely. This is my beloved. This is my friend, daughters of Jerusalem. Song of Solomon, chapter 6. Where has your beloved gone, most beautiful of women? Which way did your beloved turn that we may look for him with you? My beloved has gone down to his garden to the beds of spices, to browse in the gardens and to gather lilies. I am my beloved's, and my beloved is mine. He browses among the lilies. You are as beautiful as Terza, my darling, as lovely as Jerusalem, as majestic as troops. Turn your eyes from me, they overwhelm me. Your hair is like a flock of goats descending from Gilead. You are teeth like a, like a flock of sheep coming up from the washing. Each has its twin. Not one of them is missing. Your temples behind your veil are like the halves of a pomegranate. Sixty queens there may be and eighty concubines and virgins beyond number. But my dove, my perfect one, is unique. The only daughter of her mother, the favorite of the one who bore her. The young women saw her and called her blessed. The queens and concubines praised her. Who is this that appears like the dawn, fair as the moon, bright as the sun, majestic as the stars in procession? I went down to the grove of nut trees to look at the new growth in the valley to see if the vines had budded or the pomegranates were in bloom. 
before I realized that my desire sent me among the royal chariots of my people. Come back, come back, O Sholemite. Come back, come back, that we may gaze on you. Why would you gaze on the Sholemite as on the dance of Mahanaim? Song of Solomon, Chapter 7 How beautiful your sandaled feet, O Prince's daughter! Your graceful legs are like jewels, the work of an artist's hands. Your navel is a rounded goblet that never lacks splendid wine. Your waist is a mound of wheat encircled by lilies. Your breasts are like two fawns, like twin fawns of a gazelle. Your neck is like an ivory tower. Your eyes are the pools of Heshbon by the gate of Bath Rabim. Your nose is like the Tower of Lebanon looking toward Damascus. Your head crowns you like Mount Carmel. Your hair is like royal tapestry. The king is held captive by its tresses. How beautiful you are and how pleasing my love with your delights. Your stature is like that of the palm and your breasts like clusters of fruit. I said I will climb the palm tree. I will take hold of its fruit. May your breasts be like clusters of grapes and the vine. The fragrance of your breath like apples and your mouth like the best wine. May the wine go straight to my beloved flowing gently over lips and teeth. I belong to my beloved and his desire is for me. Come to my beloved. Let us go to the countryside. Let us spend the night in the villages. Let us go early to the vineyards to see if the vines have budded, if their blossoms have opened, and if the pomegranates are in bloom. There I will give you my love. The mandrakes send out their fragrance, and at our door is every delicacy, both new and old, that I have stored up for you, my beloved. Song of Solomon, Chapter 8 If only you were to me like a brother who was nursed at my mother's breast, then, if I found you outside, I would kiss you and no one would despise me. I would lead you and bring you to my mother's house, she who has taught me. I would give you spiced wine to drink, the nectar of my pomegranates. His left arm is under my head and his right arm embraces me. Daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you, do not arouse or awaken love until it so desires. Who is this coming up from the wilderness, leaning on her beloved? Under the apple tree, I roused you. There your mother conceived you. There she who has, was in labor gave you birth. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is as strong as death, its jealousy unyielding as the grave, it burns like blazing fire like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love, rivers cannot sweep it away. If one were to give all the wealth of one's house for love, it would be utterly scorned. We have a little sister and her breasts are not yet grown. What shall we do for our sister on the day she is spoken for? If she is a wall, we will build towers of silver on her. If she is a door, we will enclose her with panels of cedar. I am a wall and my breasts are like towers, thus I have become in his eyes like one bringing contentment. 
Solomon had a vineyard in Baal Hamon. He let out his vineyards to tenants. It was to bring for its fruit a thousand shekels of silver. But my own vineyard is mine to give. The thousand shekels are for you, Solomon, and two hundred are for those who tend its fruit. You who dwell in the gardens with friends in attendance, let me hear your voice. Come away, my beloved, and be like a gazelle or like a young stag on the spice-laden mountains. Psalm 30, a psalm, a song for the dedication of the temple of David. I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord my God, I called to you for help, and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountain stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. That my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever.